So the shout outs for this video go to Brian Galeas and Thorax Changeling. If you want a shout out in our next video, then please comment down below this video and I'll be able to save your shout outs for tomorrow. Let's get into this theme park video. Hello there guys, my name is Coaster Chow Donkster Born, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Coaster Chow Fact File. Now this series is for attractions that I've not yet done. The videos in fact will stay on the uh, playlist, so when I eventually do these attractions and I review them for the Coaster Chow Reviews um, section of the channel, um, you can look back on this video and think, well, how, how, how has predictions changed before writing it and after writing it? So, that's the whole premise of this series. And as you can see by the title of the video, we're looking at Scorpion Express, which is a Mac family roller coaster that opened at Chessington World of Adventures back in 1987 under a different name. And of course, the re theme for 2014. Now, obviously, this video is dedicated to one viewer. Um, that's going to Chessington in a couple of weeks and it's, you know, she said it's one of her favourite rides, so, you know, I really wanted to do this video for her, so big shout out goes to Paige Lillington, thank you, for, thank you so much for watching the channel. Uh, if you want to shout out in, at the beginning of our next video, if you've got any video suggestions as well, comment them down below. In other words, guys, please like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts as well. Please subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family, and our social media. And make sure you keep getting your questions in down below in the comment section as well. Use the hashtag question before or after your question. And those questions will be very, very helpful in for our subscriber Q&A. When we celebrate 2,000 subscribers, which is a hell of a lot of a milestone. Uh, and for now, guys, let's get into this Coaster Chow Fact File. So, Scorpion Express at Chessington World of Adventures, located in Chessington, Greater London, opened in 1987. It's a Mac Rides version 2 Blower Enzian clone coaster. It operated as a runaway mine train from 1987 to 2012, SBNO during the 2013 season, and reopened in 2014 as Scorpion Express. Now, for those of you who need a little bit of a reminder as to what a Mack Rides Blower Enzian version 2 coaster is, basically the, Bl the Blower Enzian is a Mac powered coaster and this version 2 has popped up at many different theme parks across the world. You may recognize Flying Fish at Thorpe Park and I'm not just talking about the current Flying Fish. Another version of the Blower Enzian is the original Flying Fish that opened a Space Station Zero in 1983 at the Old Family Thorpe Park from 1983 to 1989 before being transformed into the Flying Fish and operated until 2004 before the final and current model opened in 2007, three years after the closure of the previous Flying Fish. Now, Scorpion Express opened in the Mexicana section of the theme park and it's been operated for over 25 years. It opened as an old western theme and featured an extensively themed area in queue, primarily designed by ride creator John Wardley, taking guests above buildings, around a lake and down into a small mine. The coaster was designed to travel in and out of a cave feature which enclosed half the track and hid much of the structure, creating an interacting rocky landscape. However, due to semi-temporary construction and the prolonged lack of maintenance over the years, the cave feature was removed in late 2012 and the ride was closed. In 2013, the area surrounding the runaway train was boarded off with notices saying that the ride would be relaunching in 2014. Over the closed season, the animatronic Scorpion was installed after 208 hours of off-site construction. During this downtime, the ride ordered its all original cave design and landscaping and theming features removed, now placing the track completely in the open and the queue on flat ground. During the resort's annual February Hard Term Event African Adventures, advertising the ride was placed on large billboards at the zoo entrance and on the back of gate maps. At the same time, a mini site for the ride was launched on the park's website, which showed the concept art for the attraction, among other details. During this time, it was also announced the ride will feature fire, water and smoke effects, as well as an animated scorpion. Days after the ride's soft opening, adverts for the attraction were broadcast across British television. Scorpion Express received mixed response since its launch, way back 
in 2014. The ride officially launched on the, on the 19th of March, having slightly alterations and theming adjustments. The mixed response was largely to do with its minimal theme feature compared to how the ride was originally designed. However, it still remains a popular attraction from when it first opened back in 1987. So that is Scorpion Express. Now, obviously with these fat files, you need my thoughts on them. Uh, but my, my predictions before I officially try the ride out for myself in the future. Uh, so again, massive shout out to Paige Lillington for suggesting this video. It's been a really fun video to get the research done for. But um, my predictions is, I think this could be a very, this is a very underrated, fully themed family coaster. Now, I was around uh, for a while. I was around since 2000. Obviously, it's my birthday tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> send your birthday messages in the comments if you want. Uh, <laughs> um, but I remember the runaway train. I remember seeing pictures and videos of the old runaway train. You know, from two, you know, seeing the photos from 06 to 2012. So for the last six years of the runaway train operation. Um, and I remember seeing the K feature, and I do remember seeing a lack of maintenance on that, especially that K feature. And, you know, I think it was the right time to uh, launch the re-theme of the Runaway Train. Obviously, you know, it was around this time when they were launching the re-themed Runaway Train that the park was undergoing a multi-year uh, refurbishment program. Uh, so Dragon River, of course, that's now known as Tiger Rock. It had its uh, K feature removed, uh, like its front K feature removed. And they were designing like a competition to uh, redesign the front cave. But they didn't end up actually doing it. They just kept it as it is, I think. And then a few years down the line, of course, we got the uh, Land of the Tigers in 2019 with the brand new Tiger Rock. So they removed all the old theming from it. So, you know, they did this uh, refurbishment program for Chessington. And I think that's something they should launch across the whole Merlin theme parks. Obviously, you know... Alton Towers have the Towers Loving Care program, which ran for three years. Uh, I think this Chessington refurbishment program was a th only a three, four year thing as well. Because uh, I remember it was running from about 2013 till about 2016, around about. So, you know, it was very, very clear that this would be a, like one of the major aspects of the, ref of the multi year refurbishment program for Chessington. And obviously, many other attractions follow, with the likes of Bubble Works being transformed into the Gruffalo River Ride Adventure, uh, Hocus Pocus Hall being transformed into Room on the Broom Magical Journey. Um, obviously, we've got Elmer coming in on the Elmer's Flying Jumbos to to retheme the old Flying Jumbos attraction to go with its relocation to allow construction to continue for the new drop tower coming in 2021. That's my aim. That is my aim for next year, to go to Chessington in 2021. But what I will say about Scorpion Express is it is a highly themed family roller coaster. And Scorpion Express really stands the test of time as a great family attraction. So big shout out once again to Paisley Lington. I hope you enjoy your visit in a couple of weeks at Chessington. If you're going down to Chessington in the next few weeks, comment down below. Hope you have a good time. Uh, but that is this fact file from Scorpion Express. So my predictions are it will be a very underrated family coaster. And... I think it'll be smooth. I don't think it'll be a rough family coach. I think it'll be quite smooth. So, uh, those of you who have tried it, share your thoughts about it in the comments down below. Positive, negative, it doesn't matter. You know, we share all opinions on this channel. Uh, but I'm very excited to try it in the future. So, thank you very much for watching this fat file on the Scorpion Express at Chessington. Please like, comment, subscribe. Get your video suggestions, your shout outs for tomorrow, and also your uh, questions uh, for the subscriber QA. Again, use the hashtag question before or after your question. Make sure you send your birthday messages for tomorrow. I turn 20 tomorrow, so uh, this is your, uh, obviously I've got uh, other stuff planned for the f next few weeks, but this is the last video as a 19 year old, and the last video as a teenager officially, so uh, <laughs> I turn an adult tomorrow, so um, you're going to see, uh, it's going to be very weird, it's going to be very weird, I don't know why, but it's very weird seeing a new number in my uh, in my life, uh, but thank you very much guys, my name is Coast Child, Killing the Coast of Life, I'll see you guys when I'm 20 years old, sipping a lager, enjoying filming videos, I'll see you guys in the next video soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.